Okay, and now we're going to move on to a case study looking at how digital transformation intersects with connected mobility. And we're going to have a conversation here between three people. So welcome, please, Sharif Saeed, who's Digital Network Engineering at Vodafone Group, Vivek Gupta, who's Director at Network AI and CSP Partnerships at Google, and Asaf Aloni, who's the CMO at Continual. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Annie. I'd like to, first of all, thank you. And I'm really excited to welcome to this session, both my colleagues and co-presenters uh, from Vodafone and Google. Sharif from Vodafone Group will start and will share the group's perspective on going digital and how we at Continual have been a, a part of that journey. And Vivek uh, on the other side of the pond from Google Cloud has also kindly agreed to share with us how Google is working with operators operators, but also with vendors like us and create actually a win-win-win scenario for everyone. Uh, I'll wrap it up later uh, following Vivek by sharing our experience with both companies. And I realize time is very short um, and I do appreciate uh, uh, the fact that we'll have a Q&A session and I invite all of you that haven't had the chance to actually see the Q&A to um, uh, uh, to reach out to any of us later following the session or following the conference as a whole. So thank you. And uh, the floor is yours, uh, Sharif. Take it from here. Um, and you can, uh, you can actually begin the presentation. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Asaf. I, <clears throat> it's my pleasure to be with you here, guys, to share with you the experience of Vodafone in digital network transformation, uh, especially as well in the mobility experience analytics, okay, mm -hmm. and the collaboration we are having with Continual and also with, with Google. So uh, just to give you a bit of, uh, of, of background, I think we all want our customer to be inspired by our product and services. But in the last few years, the customer preference and also expectation has changed massively. So digital products and services has increased. The traffic as well has been increased in the last five of years due to the rapid increase in, in, in smart devices, the mobile to mobile, the, as well as the data usage, the all digital products around us, mobile TV and so on and so on. Uh, the network complexity itself has been increased. 5G became a game changer. But with all of that, we still need to keep maximizing on the return of investment while improving our customer experience. This is why at Vodafone, we started three or four, or four years ago, a company-wide program for digital transformation, which digital network is a key pillar of, that, of the program. If we go to the next slide. Mm -hmm. So the digital network, in the digital network, we are transforming the core of our technology in each stage of the network life cycle from planning to build and run. The transformation for us at Vodafone is not only by delivering a set of tools or solutions or automation, but it is also to change the way and the process we are managing our, our, network, our network today. Moving to next slide. So digital network at Vodafone as well is, has been set up based on four key concepts, okay? The first concept is data-driven solution. We are using Google Cloud as a central data ocean by ingesting all network data from all sources, from all markets, and then applying on top machine learning techniques to enable data-driven decisions, such as network investment decision or closed loop automation for optimization, which is what we are going to talk in a few minutes about mobility experience as one of the optimization suite. The second driver is build, don't buy mentality. And this is done in turn by encouraging in-house development as much as we can. Okay, so most of our digital products today at Vodafone developed by our software engineer, it does not mean that we don't want, we don't work with the vendor. And, and here as an example, we are working with Continual and with Google as well, but 
but in a certain framework. The third driver, automation and simplification. So we try to automate whatever possible. In parallel, trying to harmonize and simplifying tools by standardizing and centralizing the solution and move them to the cloud. Besides the benefits of the simplification itself, this will enable as well as an operator a significant efficiency and cost and cost savings. Fourth driver is the culture transformation. The digital transformation cannot be done without a radical shift in the way we manage our business today. That's why the culture transformation is critical. The people are considered the key enabler for the success. And this is why it is important to onboard and attract, keep attracting in our teams the digital talent and upskilling them as well. All these four principles, these are the baseline for the digital network transformation at Vodafone. Having these concepts, we started to develop the products and the product at Vodafone or the portfolio of digital network consists of five product suites. Smart planning, smart optimization, geolocation, network and customer experience, and last but not least, the, uh, the, the, the energy efficiency. Moving to the next slide. So how it works in how it works in Vodafone. So we set up a program by onboarding all Vodafone markets in Europe and some of the AMAP markets, which is outside of Europe. We started to gather all the subject matter experts to be involved with across all organizations covering all domains, radio, core, transmission, fixed, and mobile. And we started to set up a dedicated soft team of software engineers, and we onboard also talent of software engineers as well in Vodafone. We use Google Cloud as a central data ocean, okay? And today, for example, we have ingested approximately 3.5 petabyte of data from network from most of the local markets. And we do expect to reach five petabytes at the end of this physical year. And the way we are approaching here, this is to have a central design because we need to have the solution in a con deployed in a consistent way across all markets, leveraging the, the central data ocean of Google Cloud. So central design and central deployment. Last but not least, we partnership with a top key vendors like Continual, like Google, in order to make sure that we are always onboarding the best in class use cases to Vodafone portfolio. The mobility experience uh, is one of these use cases, which is we have been working very closely with container in order to onboard it to digital portfolio. So as you mentioned, the mobility experience is one of the smart optimization product suites. As we always consider improvement of network performance on highways is key success factor for customer experience. <clears throat> and as we are in Vodafone Group, we need to have a consistent way of measuring the performance of mobility regardless of the network technology to be have a, an agnostic technology. We looked around as we explored the market and we have seen several innovation and we found that continual is one of the good solution that can fit to the purpose and can be integrated properly in the optimization tool stack at Vodafone. Continual, they have seen, we tested Continual in Vodafone Ireland because it, they have implemented it, they were in life. And based on that, we decided to onboard Continual to expand it to other markets like Vodafone Germany, and we have the plan to move to other markets as well. So at the same time, our partnership with Google was forming the same. Uh, it's helping us to break the data silos. We use it as a central data ocean, as I mentioned, and we use the platform in order to run all the application of the mobility, uh, mobility experience and scale it up for tens of millions of roads and also for customer base as we do in Vodafone, in Vodafone Germany. So the solution of, of mobility experience today provide us with a good platform of measuring the customer experience and network quality across 
all roads and routes in the markets in a couple of markets, and we have a plan to expand to other markets. Not only that, but also identify the root cause of the issues and the coverage gaps. And in addition, it provides as well the actions or the recommendation to change the network in a closed loop way. So it provides a super powerful solution in to, in to manage the mobility in, in the market. Moving to the next slide. <clears throat> Here are just two examples of what we, of, of the insights that we have seen from the implementation in Ireland and in Germany. So in, in Ireland, they started the solution at the beginning where we tested and the, the using the mobility experience, the MEA solution, we were able to improve the 20 to 28% of the rate across the mobility across all roads in Ireland. This also enabled us as well in Ireland to be prepared to the benchmarking campaigns, as well as to identify the different root cause and to improve the customer experience. So in Germany, which is a large market, if you can imagine that is today we are measuring the mobility across 260,000 kilometers, they are monitored 24 by seven, all customer base, getting data from OCS, from other data sources, correlating together, and provide a very good insight on customer experience, and also a recommendation about what needs to be changed in the network in order to improve more the customer experience or the network, the network issues. These solutions today are live in both markets, and we have a plan, and next slide, in to horizontally expand the solution to be rolled out across <clears throat> other local markets in, in this physical year. Okay. Leveraging the Google Cloud as a central, as a central data ocean central platform, this will enable us to make this deployment faster and consistent across markets. In addition, we need to also to expand vertically <clears throat> to add additional features which is available today in Maya analytic solution, like enterprise analytic solution, integrated to the sun, predictive load balancing, and provide as well virtual drive test feature as well. So this is in, in a nutshell, what is the journey of Vodafone digital transformation in network, and also the, an introduction to the mobility experience analytic solution, which is uh, uh, implemented in a co collaboration with Continual and, and Google. Handing to Vivek. Hi. Um, <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me, guys? All right, I, I don't see myself on the screen here. Vivek, we can anyway, hear you uh, very well. Vivek, we can hear great. you very well. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, hi, good day, folks. Uh, my name is uh, Vivek Gupta, and I lead uh, Google Cloud's uh, analytics and AI solutions for the telco vertical. It's a pleasure to be part of this forum, and, and thank you for the opportunity. You know, I always joke with my team that this, you know, fundamental presentation around Google Analytics, I can give it in my sleep. I didn't realize that I actually would be asked to give it in my sleep. It's uh, 3 a.m. here in uh, the west coast right now um, and so please excuse me if i'm you know miss a few things it's too early in the morning for me um thanks sheriff for your comments and the setup i'll jump right into my key messages here <clears throat> a fairly uh, self-evident realization for all analytics and ai solutions is that they are only as good as the quality and the freshness of the underlying data that powers it this is one area where vodafone and google engaged in a deep partnership and had the mutual uh, data scientists as the and the engineering team to set this fundamental foundation right. Vodafone was fairly advanced on the analytics solution and had several solutions. I think, uh, you know, we, we heard said refer to some of them earlier, but it was also clear that as these solutions were scaling across applications, use cases and different departments, it led to a lot of data silos, duplication, and uh, expenses and and more importantly there was even more increased potential of data corruption 
or the data not being consistent across different departments and different needs. To combat that, Vodafone and Google collaborated extensively to architect this unified uh, data ocean where we aligned internal processes, tech platforms to get and migrate the data from different departments, different opcos into the unified data ocean on Google Cloud Platform. The partnership yielded some great innovations along the way like Dynamo, which is our hybrid data ingestion solution developed with Vodafone that has some on-prem components that allowed you know, Vodafone and other operators to redact any regulatory or PII related elements and ensure that they can move their data in the cloud in full compliance with all the regulatory, privacy, and security requirements. Next slide, Asaf. So this led to our vision to have one single data ocean. And conceptually, you can see that within that ocean, there are lakes for each country. And if you may, there are specific ponds for different applications or services. The setup kind of intuitively allowed vertical usage by the country and horizontal usage by group services or applications. Uh, business intelligence and analytics, they all drink data from the same lake. The approach reduces costs, ensures consistency and high quality data. Ocean, lakes, ponds, they're all deployed on GCP's analytics platform with underlying data governance, management and security and have managed APIs that allow Vodafone <clears throat> and third parties like Continual to leverage the data in place for the specific use cases. Next slide, Asa. So just double clicking a little bit on the analytics platform itself. It is powered by our industry leading warehouse BQ platform with mature technologies across the analytics use case lifecycle needs. You have PubSub and other technologies for data ingestion in streaming or batch modes, data flow, data proc or data fusion product options that transform the raw data into data sets that get feed into the machine learning and analytics engine on BigQuery. And then also integrated visualization and display options with Looker or Data Studio that can slice and dice the insights per the needs of the user. <clears throat> A very important aspect of any platform, and including this one, is a rich set of APIs that power an open ecosystem of solutions. In this one, Google has a fairly uh, clear view on how we are approaching the market. We will have a few first party applications in areas where we think we have some unique expertise. But by and large, we rely on the innovation of our customers and partners and the ecosystem. And we are actually seeing a very vibrant third party ecosystem and innovations. That, that thrive onto this platform that are providing some great insights and values to our customer partners. And the case in point here is the work that we've done you know, with, uh, with Continuo. And as uh, Seth was saying earlier, as a trend, you know, when we look at the different applications that can run on the analytics platform, we definitely see pull around network planning, uh, customer care, customer experience management, uh, service assurance, and also, a new facet around uh, CSP data monetization as some of the areas where we see <clears throat> transforming all this technology into consumable use cases for our customers. Now, <clears throat> this uh, BigQuery and the platform technologies, they are powered by Google's years of ex experience and investment on the AI analytics area. And it's a leading product from Google Cloud across different verticals, not just telecom. It does well in you know, comparison with some of its esteemed competitors and as evaluated through independent folks like ESG. Some of the highlights that we have in here are out of the box, AI ML readiness, fast setup, fast analytics, and <clears throat> very importantly, a, a <clears throat> special emphasis on security and, and, and governance. They remain a key area of focus for Google uh, with built-in data protections at scale, uh, encryption at all phases of the data transfer and investments all the way to the chip level where we have developed some custom chips like Titan to make sure that this aspect is, is, is fully fortified. <clears throat> Next slide, Asaf. So this leads us to the solution in discussion for today. Uh, Continual and, and Google have been collaborating on this telco transformation journey on several fronts. 
And, and one of the areas is continuous mobility experience solutions on our analytics platform. So without much ado, I would like to pass the baton to Asaf from Continual, who will walk you through the details of this specific solution. Thank you very much for your time and attention, and I'll be around for answering any questions. Vivek, I want to thank you, as well as Sheree, for uh, uh, taking the time and waking up very early in the morning to deliver this uh, presentation. Thank you very much. Please stick around just for a few minutes, uh, and we have a Q&A session just after my part. So um, with my part, I'd like to begin by taking you to some uh, the, the days of the iPhone. If you remember the way iPhone changed the way the consumers were interacting with their phones, then you probably also remember the challenges that networks had to cope with. I'm talking about uh, rising up to the challenge of a totally different user experience. And for operators, this of course meant quality delivery of the actual services and the apps. And in fact, the same disruption is happening today when the cars have become connected. So they offer many features and many capabilities to the drivers and to the passengers, um, some around assistance, driver assistance, some also around safety, mostly around the entertainment in the entertainment systems inside the car. But either way, we're looking at much more consumption of mobile services over the cellular connection. And now with autonomous driving kicking in, and this is happening in limited formats today, but it will be in full swing and full mode just a bit down the road, then latencies and throughputs and quality on the road as a whole will become an issue. On all roads and on all highways, things, uh, the KPIs that operators need to meet in order to provide for these services must be top notch. So this is where continual comes into play. Um, in a nutshell, what we do is we take the operator's existing data sets. Uh, there's a multiple, there are multiple opportunities for us to start working with, either from the core network data or from the radio access network or the operator's crowdsource data that uh, he has already. Um, reference data that we use in order to then geo locate on a road and provide geomobility algorithms, we use both the network cell metadata and we also use some maps and road metadata that's available in each and every country. We apply it all on the Google Cloud Platform and we deliver three sets of capabilities wrapped around three different products, the journey analytics that Sharif has demonstrated, the mobility experience optimization also covered by Sharif, and uh, the ent enterprise and IoT analytics, in addition to data sets that uh, we make available for the operators. So with that in mind, how does that actually look when engineers and when um, and managers work with the solution? So rather than seeing this famous spaghetti junction uh, in this view, the system really interprets it in that view. And what you're seeing here is very accurate, extremely accurate measurement of experience that pertains to hundreds of thousands of journeys that subscribers have performed onto the same road segment, <clears throat> onto the same highways, and also onto the same railways. And that is our expertise providing the linkage between the infrastructure of the operator <clears throat> as well as the actual experience on the roads that this infrastructure affects. And with that, operators' teams actually make the right changes and get their networks in better shape for the moving subscribers and the moving cars. Um, taking you to the Vodafone Germany in the remaining time, very short time, um, but I'd like to uh, give a, a few, no more than three main highlights of our journey with Vodafone starting with Ireland, where we have performed both research, which was then shaped into a pilot together about optimizing highways across Ireland. Uh, when that uh, uh, was realized, we ended up, of course, uh, um, commercially engaging with Vodafone Ireland and deploying and rolling out our solution nationwide, which has led us to now discuss with the Vodafone Group who has a different perspective, not different, but has a, uh, an overarching perspective on what the requirements for the general market opcodes are. And the engagement and the procurement processes that we work with Vodafone Group has, have then led us to 
deploy the solution first, piloting on the Google Cloud environment within Germany, which was successful and followed with a national rollout with Vodafone Germany, providing the engineering teams, uh, both in Ireland as well as in Germany, with the tools to keep their networks in better shape for the cars and for the subscribers that are on the move. So the role of Google here is also quite important. Let me start by saying that when we started to engage with Vodafone Group, it became clear to us that as a group, centralizing the data was an important KPI for the group. And for us to succeed, we have to align with this approach. So before the technicalities even, and before the technical alignment, let's think for a second about how a centralized approach benefits the group, but from in the context of mobility experience, because this is what we do. So for one thing, if the excellent service in mobility for subscribers is a business goal for the group, then the network executives in the group, Sharif, of course, being part of it, they would want the visibility into it. Um, they would get simple, almost like normalized reports that show them the mobility KPIs, and that should happen regardless of the network equipment and the network make, and of course, the network vendor across the different markets. Another angle is, of course, that commuters, and especially in Europe, they cross borders and hop off and on from one Vodafone network to another. They switch in Europe from, uh, between these different networks. And here, too, as a group, the experience and the quality for the drivers should remain consistent. That's a business goal, and that's an operational goal also for the different uh, markets. And that has to remain consistent. So it makes perfect sense for the group to implement solutions that can support these operational centralized objectives. And Google Cloud, of course, is a fundamental part of that. So with Google being a key element in this mode of deployment, we went about fitting our architecture onto the Google Cloud environment. So we use components like BigQuery on the, on the platform. We use components like Dataproc. Um, and that not only helped us to achieve the compliance that we needed, but it also made our mobility experience analytics a solution that is ready for onboarding with the next opco. So as opcos onboard the platform and transition into that fully digital approach that Sharif mentioned, they are now ready also to deploy the mobility experience analytics solution, which of course is available for them on the cloud. So I realize this is very short time to deliver everything and to show everything. I just like to summarize that the three of us, Vodafone and Google Cloud, of course, and Continual collaborated in a world that we refer to as the connected mobility domain. Uh, connected mobility is all about delivering excellent network experience for any subscriber on the move, any car that is in mobility on the roads and on the railroad and on the highways. Um, we're also in this taking an active role in the automotive connectivity. There's a tsunami happening there as far as automotive connectivity is concerned, and we are part of that revolution too. Uh, we help to perfect the 5G experience that operators have spent billions of dollars on rolling it out. We help them perfect the experience and keep the subscribers on those 5G as they travel across the country. And we help to reduce both the operator expenses on the drive tests. But in that respect, we should also be looking at not just going green, but also not just going digital, but also going green at the same time. So virtualizing the drive tests efforts is of course a key charter for the different operators and Vodafone being one of them. Uh, that said, I'd like to wrap it up here. And once again, thank my partners, my colleagues, uh, for uh, delivering this presentation with me. Uh, happy to take questions, Annie, if you'd like to moderate and uh, transfer yes. any questions to us, if we have time. I'm sorry to say we're very nearly out of time because there was an awful lot of information to um, impart there. But there is one which I guess is aimed at Sharif. Surprise, surprise. And um, mm -hmm. our questioner asks if Anthos has been adopted in Vodafone's core network operations and um, have any lessons that you've learned, could you share them? 
Yeah, so so definitely the, the the solution has been implemented and definitely for network engineering and network operations. It is used as well by the operation team in Ireland and in Vodafone Germany. Uh, what, are, of course, of the big lessons learned, not only for, the, for any solution, is making sure data integrity is high because data, uh, the good data means good uh, data decision can be taken based on that. So um, we need to make sure that is data integrity is always in, in, in good shape and we need to monitor the data and we need to make sure is the data is always in time and feeding the solution properly. Okay, well, uh, Vivek, Sharif and Asaf, Thank you very much for that. Very interesting. Uh, we hope uh, sometime later we'll be able to um, catch up on, on how things are progressing in other parts of the group, perhaps.